A Springfield man is in the hospital tonight after crashing to the ground in a terrible paragliding accident. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Matt Templeman. And I'm Renee McCullough. The man was 100 feet in the air when everything went wrong. Now his neighbors are reaching out to help and hoping to see him again soon. KEZI 9 News reporter Grace Lim live in the studio tonight with our top story at 6. Grace? Renee, late this afternoon, James Carter was upgraded from critical to serious condition. That's good news to neighbors who describe him as an adventurous man. Friends say he's been paragliding for years, and yesterday he went gliding in Santiam Pass, but his adventure was cut short. YouTube video shows just the kind of adventure seeker James Carter is. He enjoys life to the fullest now. This is the 55-year-old Springfield man paragliding over Kings Valley. Here, he's gliding over Mount Washington. And on Sunday morning, he decided to fly over Santium Pass. But just after takeoff, Oregon State Police say the paraglider Carter was operating suddenly lost power. Carter fell 100 feet to the ground, crashing violently. These photos taken by emergency responders show how bad the crash was. I hope he's going to be okay. Like, that sucks. My son loves him. <laughs> Carter's next door neighbor, April Fonger, couldn't <laughs> hold back tears when she found out. Oh, God, that's, that's really scary. I couldn't imagine falling out of the sky. You know, that sucks. Carter was rushed to St. Charles Medical Center in Bend with serious injuries. Neighbors, especially the children, were all very sad. Well, my sister-in-law has six kids, and they're constantly going over there and knocking on his door. He helps them air up their tires, fix the basketball hoops, um, fix their handlebars on their bikes. For a man who's always helping everyone, neighbors jumped at the chance to return the favor. I send out wishes to his family. So and if they need me to do anything, I'm right here. So and they're rooting for a successful recovery. He's a fighter, so I hope he pulls through because it's really sad to hear it, like, something like that happened. But. Neighbors say Carter also loves hunting, fishing, and boating, and they say he acts as a neighborhood watch guy, so they can't wait until he returns home. In the studio, Grace Lim, KZI 9 News.